this is my original Amiga. The one I bought for my own money when I was a kid. It has been stored for some years. Sadly, it had a battery leakage and uh, the motherboard was ruined. Finally, I have all the parts needed for my emulator machine build. Uh, a friend of mine 3D printed this uh, nice brackets. So I will have a dual USB 3 in the back, HDMI output. I had a plan for that, but uh, uh, for uh, having the power input here, but I found a better solution. Um, I will power this computer with this board. This is the Pi 4B. Uh, I've tried some emulation with it and ended up that I needed to overclock it a bit. And to be able to overclock it stable, I need some cooling. I, uh, this bracket holds a uh, Arduino card, which have a, a core made to use the original keyboard. So the keyboard is connected to the board and that will connect to the Pi with the USB. I've tested it and this works. The original keyboard I had had so much acid damage from a leaking battery that even the board was broken. So I had to <laughs> get a new board, I had to get a new membrane and the motherboard that originally was inside this case was very heavily damaged. Uh, I have cleaned it with uh, vinegar and put it in safe for safe storage. So one day I will try to fix it, but at least the damage won't get any worse. Uh, this bracket also have audio through it, as you can see here. It is like the original Omega had. Left and right audio bono jacks, and uh, this is Keystone connectors one for USB and one for USB C. And this is where I will connect the, the power. So it's time to put it together. So this one. We go here. Yeah. Support it with some strips just to hold it in place. As I mentioned, I wanted to do this in a non destructive way to keep everything ready for whenever I decide to fix my original Omega 500 and put it back into the case. So, perfect. The next part is this board that will hold the Arduino. It slides in like this. Kind of like this. And this will connect to the keyboard. I think I will put some strips over here and over here rather than uh, gluing it in place. I could put some screw in here, but I like how strips leaves everything just the way it was. The light a bit, it was a bit dark. I need to move 
this out of the way. Slide those in. And we have USB. I guess that will fit on the third try, isn't that the way it is? Whoa, the first try. There must be something wrong. The biggest cable mass is this one. It should be placed like this. Not sure how to make this stay in place. Maybe some strips over here. So the length of this one kind of dictates where the Pi needs to be. This is the audio. So it will need to go, it could go over here, but the keyboard will, will be in the way, so it can't, so it needs to go around here somewhere like that I think That's it. The HDMI output through all this mess into the Pi, the audio through the stereo jacks, the Arduino board connected through USB with the Pi, and I think the only w thing remaining is to give power to the Pi and connect the keyboard. That's it, I think. Like that. And then the keyboard will stay like this, well above the Pi. Like that. It's time to put the lid on. boot image and now it should boot into workbench I will make another video about the software part of this and there it is workbench let's see if we have sound yes we do So, what's the best way to test an Amiga? Demos, of course. Let's just choose a random one, one of my favorites. Spaceballs, you are Lucy.
That's it. We have it. It's working. I'll make another video about the software, as I said. Thanks for watching. Now, enjoy the rest of this demo. And I will turn off the lights. Want to hurt children? They have lots of different ways of tempting you. Lucy can't get away from this stranger. <laughs> 